What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothexi and welcome back today to the Henry Stickmin Collection. Today, we are jumping back into the game to unlock more secret hidden achievements to continue on here with our 100% completion. Um, so yeah, welcome back everyone. Hopefully we are all doing amazing today. We've actually made some really, really good progress. So if we jump into chapter five, which is completing the mission, we are now sitting on 26 out of 27 achievements completed. So the only one that I'm missing so far is this one, which is allies and enemies. Now these ones are a little bit difficult because what you need to do is you need to click on every single bio inside each one of the episodes, which basically means that you have to find every single unique character. And when it pops up on the screen, you just right click it and that bio gets added to the game. So as of right now, I haven't actually completed that one just yet. I will do that in the background. However, we're actually going to go back one chapter here today. We are going to go to fleeing the complex because although we do have all of the endings unlocked, you can see here that there are a bunch of slightly trickier achievements, including two secret achievements, which we haven't yet got. So today we're going to be working through these. I've actually got one of them by complete accident. I'll show you how we get all of them. And yeah, let's continue on to unlock all this cool stuff. Let's go. So with all of these achievement things, once again, we are going to be using the map feature really, really heavily because it allows us to skip through to all of the various scenes to try and unlock all of these secret things. So if you guys would like to see me go and unlock uh, all of the secret achievements from the previous maps, I would really like to do a 100% completion run i guess um so if you do want to see that please do let me know if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please make sure that you are so you don't miss out on any future videos it would be amazing to hang out with you dudes as well in the future and yeah please put me in that like button if we can try and get 2000 likes that would be amazing all right so first things first i'm gonna show you like the one that we've already got so the achievement that we already have here is this one <laughs> so i got this completely by accident when i was just trying to unlock all of the endings this one is called spooked and it's actually a bit of a five nights at freddy parody so it's super simple to get so if we go to the map here, the option that we need to click is right in the middle of the screen. This is the yard open brackets tactical. We just click into this one and this is the one where you have a bunch of different options for like some fight scenes and stuff. So instead of clicking on the tank or any of the people, all you do is you just click on the empty building. And although we've already got it, you'll see here in a few seconds. There he is. It's a Freddy, it's like a Freddy Fazbear, it just pops up. And that's literally it. So super straightforward, you have like a little Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. And if you haven't got the achievement already, you will get the spooked one added to your inventory. Okay, next one is actually called Easy Medal and it literally is a really, really easy medal. So what you need to do is you need to go to the airship ending here, which is like a two out of two. And you have a choice of three. However, what you need to pick is the slingshot. So this is a fail and you will see here in a few seconds, boom. <laughs> and it literally on the screen. And it's amazing how many people miss these things, myself included. The first time around anyway, it says, this seems like a good place for a medal. Click here for a medal. Guess what you do? You click here for a medal. I mean, you got to work for it. Okay. Hmm. That seems too easy. Nah. I'm up here now. <laughs> now I'm down here. <laughs> Whoa, how did this happen? <laughs> this seems to be a good spot. So, how's it going? Enjoying the game so far? I'm glad. So, what should we talk about? I bet you don't know the capital of Mongolia off the top of your head. I bet just pressing this without even reading what I'm saying. I'm actually reading it. This is important. Don't skip my words. Mm, dogs have feet. <laughs> Press the sun in the sneaky ending. Ah, a clue. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm tired of that. <laughs> this seems far nicer. Which one is correct? This or that? This. Yeah, you guessed right. I have a confession, though. They were both correct. Will you press the most uh, right button? No. You liar! Don't press this button. <laughs> so I guess we did it wrong. <laughs> what was the right way of doing it? <laughs> it's so weird. Hang on, let me try that again. 
<sighs> okay, all right, I've just spotted it. So this is what we need to look out for. So you can actually fail getting this medal. It's really, really dumb. But once you get to this reply here, this one says, don't press this button. And then it says, okay, if you wait a couple of seconds, it then gives you another option that says press this one. So that pops up in a few seconds time. Boom, we click on this. This button will take you back to the beginning and then you retry and then it says fooled you. <laughs> But now you have to press the retry button to continue. Hmm, guess I can't fool you. Nope. All right, all right. Take your medal. Medal. And then it will pop up and it will say medal. Come on, you don't want it. Medal. 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 Come on. <laughs> it's really, really stupid. So yeah, the, the, the key to this one is you can actually fail it. You have to wait for that one specific message that says... Um, okay, and then the other okay will pop up next to it in a few seconds, so don't click it immediately. Follow the, the clicking things, and eventually we get the medal. So yeah, super dumb, but that's how you do it. Okay, so you can see here that that is one out of two of the secret endings already unlocked. Um, so we do have like a few more here left to go. I tell you what, let's do the noob slayer one. So the scenario that we need is when we're actually equipping um, Henry and Ellie with weapons. So where would that be? I think it might be hallway standoff. Yeah, there it is. So I need to pick sniper rifle. You need to give Ellie the crossbow, but this is a fail. So we accidentally shoot her. <laughs> but once again, we can click this. So it says here in blue, let's see that in instant replay. We click it. Gives you one of these scenes. I remember this one from when we first played the game. Good, right? Rest in pepperonis, Illuminati, Mountain Dew, all of the old school Call of Duty memes. And yeah, that is how we get that achievement. <laughs> so weird. Right, okay, so now let's do maybe a slightly more tricky one. So in completing the mission, we had to find all of the secret little dolls from a game called Among Us. There are a bunch of them all over the game, and if we clicked on every single one of them, we unlocked the achievement. So there are a few, like, slightly similar to this one in Fleeing the Complex, and I think the first one we'll do is we'll do this one here in the middle called Rise and Shine. So there are basically five things you need to do in different scenes in the game, and there is essentially you're like a guy with a briefcase that looks a little bit out of place and we need to click on him in five different locations so uh, yeah let's uh, let's get started okay so first one here is on the top row we are going to the docks and we have to click this and we have to click on the leaf and um, so yeah we need to keep an eye out we need to be really really quick here so there 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 he is there he is there he is on the top hand corner do you see him Really, really small, but we have to be super duper quick. He's kind of just minding his own business in the corner there. And it's only like a second that you actually get to see him, but you have to click on him. So obviously, if you don't get it the first time around, all you do is click map and then you play it all over again. So you can just, you know, go back and try for the second time. Just to kind of show you once again, because they are pretty quick. Uh, there, right in the corner there, just chilling. <laughs> but there, that's it. That's one. That's one. Okay, next one is in two elevators, and we've got three choices here to pass by, blend in, or toss. And um, so we're actually going to toss the hat, but once again, we have to be really, really quick. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? We have to be quick. There, right in the middle of the screen. Oh, I missed him. No, I think I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. So yeah, standing right in the middle of the screen with a suitcase, there is a dude with... It's really hard. You've got to be super duper quick. Um, but yeah, that is the second one that we need to find. Okay, next one is a really, really tricky once again. Uh, this is in the Yard Tactical. Um, so what we need to do is we need to pick this player here with the sword. This dude is called Karloff. Uh, and basically, you don't do anything here and you just kill him. But... There is a tiny, tiny, tiny millisecond of a cutscene where a dude comes out of an elevator right at the top there. There. <laughs> you have to click on him. So obviously we have the biome for him, uh, the bio for him already, but it doesn't mean that we still have to click on him. So that was three now out of five. Okay, next one is cafeteria uh, government. So what we need to do here is we need to go to Earthbend, and then once again, we have to keep our eyes peeled for the dude. So we've already got the biome uh, of that guy. Where is he? There he is! Oh, I missed him! <laughs> okay, so left of the screen. I actually missed him that time. I'm going to go back and grab him in just a second. Let's try that one more time. Um, so if we retry, let's go back to Earthbend. He's located somewhere on this side of the screen. So let's try and be quick. Where are you? There. Yes, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Okay, nice. That's four. He's up there somewhere. We cannot let him get to oh! the gate. Oh, nice that. 
Oh, I just did it! I did it by accident! Oh! <laughs> so I was just going back um, to basically see that I did it right. So I think I was trying to like um, see if it was left click or right click. So I was just trying something different and I was spamming left click. Um, and left click, it kind of does like this little tweet noise. It kind of goes like blah, 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 when you actually get it right. So I went back and just double checked. And from what it seems like, I'd already clicked the final one at some point already. Oh, dude. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> so we have the achievement. Let me show you the final one, though, because you do need it in order to actually get the achievement. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused by that one. I thought we would have had to get all five of them. We're just going to do it anyway because we might as well, and I'll show you where it is. So this one's slightly different. Uh, we don't click on any of the number options. We click on this little square here at the bottom, and this gives us a choice between top hat or government. So what we need to do is we need to watch this scene, but it goes yes, to the cafeteria after, and kind of in like the top-ish left-hand corner, that's where the dude with the briefcase is going to be standing. So we need to be really, really quick. You only get like a a second to see this so after this scene it'll say one hour later cut back to us and the next scene are you ready there there it is boom so that is all five of them um i don't know why it gave us the achievement early i'm not 100 percent sure why um but yeah technically that is all five of the locations so maybe i clicked on one twice and it counted not too sure but we now have the rise and shine achievement here uh, well, there we go. Right, okay, seeing as we're kind of like on this page here, let's do the nailed it achievement next. So there are three times that you have like a horrible fall <laughs> inside the game. So once again, it's like one of those ones where you have to click. Uh, but what you need to do apparently is you click on the floor before you actually have your fall. So let's try that. There are three different locations. The first one is here, out uh, outside security solo. And what we need to do is we need to click on the power jump. So just before we actually land on the ground, we click the ground below us and that should count towards getting this medal unlocked. So we jump and then we click. Oh, I think I missed it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me try that again. Okay, here we go. As we fall, as we fall, as we fall. Yeah, look at that. So I just spam click the floor with left click and instead of falling on my face, <laughs> I actually like uh, fell, on my, fell on my feet. Okay, that's good. That's one. Okay, so the next one, once again, can be found in docks, and this is using the leaf again. So this is like the second time that we've kind of had to use the leaf. Um, so let's make this jump, and let's click, let's click, let's click, let's click, let's click. Land! Yeah! All right, nice. So that's where we do like a little dodge roll instead of falling over, and that is our second one. So we need one more which is actually in this one here, Bowels of the Complex. And this one is when we pick the helium option. So let's go and uh, use the helium here. We need to be kind of quick. I'm just going to kind of spam click underneath me. Because I think that might be the best way of doing it, just so we can get it first time. And here we go, here we go. Oh, I <laughs> it wasn't quick enough. All right, let me try it again. Let me try it again. So I guess it's just as we're falling out of this little ventilation shaft here. So let's get our mouse ready. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so three of the times we've stuck the landing and that is how we unlock that achievement. Super straightforward. Okay, next one, really, really easy as well. We are going back to Bowels of the Complex and instead of clicking Helium, we're actually clicking Plunger Boots. So I think this is a fail. Um, but we need to just fail anyway. So what's going to happen? This one's quite sneaky, actually. There you go. It says here A-E-I-O-U in the middle of the screen. So how people work this stuff out, I have no idea. But if we click this seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? That's how we do that one. All right, okay, so let's do this one next here. This is like the Brahingo. I don't even know what the relevance of that is. It looks like I'm a fire my lasers, dude. And uh, it basically says, getting real tired of seeing this guy. So there are three locations once again where you need to click in order to actually reveal this guy's face. <laughs> and if you get all three, uh, then you actually can do it quite easily. So uh, the first one, I believe if we go, oh geez, hang on. If we go into the map, we need to go to the docks and then we need to click on the shadows. Um, so what we're doing here is we're clicking on the moon. So we kind of have to wait a bit. I don't know if we should skip this fully. I just want to make sure we don't miss it, basically. So we need to try and find the moon in at the screenshot. And... Oh, I remember this one. This is where the moon, like... Yeah, there. Did you see it? 
We clicked the moon and it revealed the face. So that is like one out of three. So the second one. Okay, so second location here. We have to go to the cliffside wreck and actually get the presumed dead ending. Um, so we just need to keep an eye out for the moon, uh, the moon basically, in this cutscene. Now, if I remember correctly, what we do is we do nothing. I think we do nothing. And... Well, that's just too bad. It goes. All right, <laughs> so this is the presumed end. This is where they think we've died, but we haven't. We're still hanging onto the cliff here. So that's just the way you get that ending. But keep an eye out for the moon. Where are you? Where are you? It must be here somewhere. There we go. And come on. Where are you? Keep looking. Keep looking. Yes, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so that's two. That's <laughs> so sneaky. Okay, and the third and final one here, we need to go to transfer cells blockade. And we need to be really, really quick. So we're going to click on item. Oh, we missed it. I think we missed it. <laughs> so when that actually pops up there, we need to click on it very, very quickly. Um, let's try that one more time. Oh, we have to be so, so quick. All right, let me try that again. We're going to have to go with item and then I'm just going to spam it. Yes. <laughs> There we go. So just like spam your left click when the items are like scrolling through and then that's how we get it. So those are all three of those locations to uh, sure, unlock that achievement. Message. Okay, and unfortunately the final one that we have here left to get is this one, Waldorf, <laughs> which is basically like a Where's Wally one. Um, so quite simple, we just need to find one scene in particular which is this one here, the yard escape route. And if we click this, we have like a bunch of different options for which way to go. So just in this area there, there's a very, very tiny little stick man with like a red little hair piece. If we click on him, boom, <laughs> we find him. <laughs> Where's Waldorf? And that's how we unlock that achievement. So, uh, yeah, aside from the find all of the bios section, which I will do at some point, they do take a little bit of time. Uh, we have now got every single one of the secret achievements from fleeing the complex. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like to see me do infiltrate the airship, stealing the diamond, all that good stuff, please do let me know. And we'll come back and we'll unlock some more secret achievements. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So if you did enjoy this, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Henry Stickman done for. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.